welcome to Michelle Sews again. I'm Michelle. It is Friday, so that means it's another Friday Sews. Thank you so much to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag. It's a lot of fun. Um, please go and check out other people that are doing the Friday Sews hashtag. Um, you'll get to meet a lot of great sewists and um, learn a little bit about them. It's a lot of fun. I encourage you to do that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to talk about today, I, it's so funny because I didn't think I was going to have much to talk about and then I went around and like started picking things up. So I'll just go through like what I've made this week and then um, what's next for me, what my next plans are, and then a little bit about life. So um, I, <laughs> I say it every week. I think this will be a shorter one, but we'll see. Okay, so what have I made? The first thing that I made this week was, and I can't show you the whole thing because it's for the crafty so-and-so um, challenge, um, hashtag crafty PJ party. And I made the top so far, I haven't made the bottoms yet because I'm not sure what I want to do for the bottoms. Um, but I had bought some really great bright um, fabrics, some double brushed double brushed poly <laughs> from Joann's um, on the 4th of July and I wanted to use those or some of them anyway. So I will just show you the combo that I used for my top. And it's, this fabric is just so freaking soft. I just knew it needed to be pajamas. And um, I love that I could make it all on my serger. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already, but I'm super proud. I used twin needles for the very first time. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that. It stretches like it's supposed to. It's nice and even. Added a nice detail. Um, I did it for the um, hem and the in the sleeves and the hemline. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, I it is the seamwork thin t-shirt and it's really comfortable. I've I've worn it uh, a few times already and I like it a lot. I really love a raglan sleeve um, and. Uh, I think I want to make a dress out of that pattern. So, and I have quite a bit of double brush poly and other types of knits. So I think, and it was a pretty quick and easy make. So I'm pretty sure that um, that will be somewhere in my near future. I don't necessarily have it on my plans list, but um, it's in, in the back of my head. All right, um, I do still need bottoms for my pajamas to reveal. I think the reveal date is July 30th. Um, and I think, I've been looking, um, it's, it's not as easy to find knit shorts, knit short sewing patterns as I would have expected. Um, but I did find, uh, today when I was doing some searching, I found a free pattern for knit pajama shorts, actually. It's, I think they're actually called sleep shorts from Hala Patterns. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's H-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A. I'll put it up on the screen. And if you join their Facebook group, then you get codes for some, a handful of the patterns that you can pick up for free. So I got the, I joined the Facebook group, I got the code, I downloaded the pattern. Um, I won't make the shorts. Um, I sleep in leggings. Um, most of my leggings I do cropped length, just, you know, because I don't wear them out of the house usually. Um, so I think, what's this? <laughs> um, so I think I would, uh, I, I believe they come in both a short version and a legging version. Um, but regardless, even if it's only in the short version, I'm sure I could easily lengthen them. So, um, I'm thinking that's going to be the pattern that I make. I'm not hundred percent sure yet, but I've got it if I need it. All right. So the second thing that I made, um, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, I participated in, um, the Ankara um, appreciation week, which is this week. It started either Sunday or Monday and it goes, it must have started Monday because it goes through Sunday. And, um, I was encouraged by Mari from Mari Sews. And so I ordered some fabric from House of Mommy Wadi on Thursday. Can I just tell you how freaking fast they ship? So I ordered it 
at like 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday and by two o'clock I already had a shipping notice and it arrived on Saturday. So, um, so yeah, so I made my dress. Now, the fabric came super, super stiff. Um, I could tell that it was a lightweight fabric, but it was, it was super stiff. It didn't have a wax coating, um, but it, it was really stiff. I don't know what kind of like sizing or I don't know what it is, what kind of finish they had on there. Um, but uh, I had heard a tip I don't know who it's from. I believe it originated with Juliet Uzor, who is um, one of the hosts of the challenge. And um, they recommended that you put a little bit of salt in when you wash the fabric, and I did that. I don't know if that's what made the difference, but my fabric came out so soft. Um, this is like, I mean, it, it, you know, it's not like a rayon drape, but I mean, that's a nice drape, right? Anyway, how freaking amazing is this fabric? It's so stunning. The colors are so vibrant and so gorgeous. It's got this hot pink background, which I'm super into hot pink right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm into it. Um, this really great orange, this lime green. It's just such a great color combination. And I love the big, huge flowers, obviously. It's kind of my thing these days. So what I did was I made my favorite pattern, the Bellbird top from the Sewing Revival. Um, I have made five of the tops and now I've hacked it into a dress. So I'll put up some video um, of me wearing it. I actually <laughs> actually put shoes on, I put a necklace on, I, I, I dressed up for y'all. Um, I love this dress. I think that, um, I think it looked really cute with the wedges that I had on with it, but I don't have a need to wear those that often. I also think it will look cute with my vans. You know, I have a collection of vans that I wear with dresses and, and whatever. Um, and I think it'll look cute with, um, with some of those. So uh, I actually have a pair of like vibrant violet uh, suede vans that actually will look pretty awesome with that. All right, so then what's next? I... Oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, I love that fabric so much that I went online today and I already ordered another print. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm jazzed about it. I got four yards of it because I'm thinking I'm gonna make something full length, whether that's another pair of coveralls or a pair of overalls or a maxi dress, I don't know, but I'm gonna use the heck out of it. All right, so the next thing that I made I finished my Sew Recreate the Look dress. So I'll put my inspiration picture up um, and you can see that it's from Anthropology, and I just love the fact that it is three different prints. It's actually, it looks like it's the same print with different colors, which is what I did with my dress. So um, I can't reveal it yet because it's not reveal week, but I can give you a sneak peek. Um, so I, and I was able to, it's, um, this week, so there's, there's a different prompt every week. The first week was just to share your inspiration um, and maybe a mood board of what kind of things you were thinking of. This week was to reveal the pattern that you're gonna use and the fabrics that you're gonna use. So I revealed that on Instagram this week. So I used the Style Art Hope dress and then I hacked the skirt because the, the Hope dress just has like a, a regular skirt. It's you know, not tiered or anything. So I just, I didn't use that skirt and I just did two rectangles. Um, I did, uh, I was on a Zoom call and, with Maddie and she suggested that your second tier should be one and a half times your first tier. So that's what I went with and it worked beautifully. I even inserted some pockets. So I'm just gonna share with you the fabric because I'm not supposed to reveal the dress yet. <laughs> um, and let's see, so there's the floral, and this is on the white background, and then I have a yellow background, and then I have a turquoise background, and they look so awesome together. I've already worn this dress. Um, my husband and I went out to dinner the other night, and I wore it, and I got compliments, and I love it, love it. Um, okay, uh, those fabrics, by the way, are from Spoonflower. It is their new, cotton lawn. I think it's just a test fabric because it said beta when I bought it. And the designer of the fabric is the Artworks 
on Instagram. Um, she, her, her prints are just like me. Um, she also designed the print that I used for my Nova Midi dress um, that I love so much. So obviously I'm a fan of hers. Um, all right, so then the next thing that I did, well, I actually finished this last week, um, but I wasn't, I, I wasn't sure if I could show it yet. And I asked, so this is my pattern test, my first ever pattern test that I did. And um, I talked to you guys about it last week and told you about my tie dye experience um, that kind of went awry, but ended up looking good. Um, and Victoria told me that I was um, able to share it, even though the pattern release date is still TBD. She said, as long as you like direct them to, you know, her website, she was happy to have me share it. So um, I will put up a picture of me here um, wearing it. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. I will say, um, unfortunately, <laughs> I made a rookie mistake and I didn't wash my muslin first so um if if i didn't i think i said this last week but i bought actual real muslin fabric to make this and originally i had bought some fabric from <coughs> excuse me from fabric.com to make it which people on instagram voted for out of five fabrics they picked one i bought it um but then i got the muslin because I was like, this is gonna be a more involved pattern than I've made in a very, very long time. So I wanted to make sure that, and, and plus with the fit, cause it's a coverall, um, which, you know, overalls are different because usually you can adjust the straps. This is a full on coverall. I mean, the top is like, it's a full on top. So um, I wanted to make sure that it would fit. So I made it out of muslin. Um, I, I didn't wash the muslin first. And once I decided that I was going to just tie dye the muslin and make that my final piece, um, it, sh it shrunk. So I, I'm going to do a review of this, um, in, in a separate video. So I'll talk more about that experience then, but, um, I'm not going to hold this up. Like you're not going to be able to see it with me holding it up, but look how freaking awesome that tie dye is. Ah, I love it so much. Anyway, so that was another item um, that I can now share with you the full item. Um, let's see what's next. Okay, so that's everything that I've made over the last week, the coveralls the week before. Now what's next? So <coughs> as I was uh, scrolling through Instagram as I do many times a day, um, I had an ad for a dress pop across my feed and, and I, actually I'm not sure if it was Instagram or Facebook. It was probably Instagram because I actually don't go on Facebook that much anymore. Um, but it's this really beautiful um, flowy dress. It's um, green and white gingham on the top. I'll put the inspiration picture up. Um, it's got um, eyelet and it's got polka dots. and. I loved the, not only the color combinations, but I loved the style of the dress. It very, very much rem reminded me of the Friday Pattern Company Wilder Gown, which I've already made one and I loved it and I knew I would end up making another. I didn't have any ideas of what to make until I saw that dress. Um, so, of course I'm gonna make it different. Um, I have two of the fabrics already. Um, I'm just waiting on the third one to come in. Um, but I'll share the fabrics with you since this week is share your fabric and pattern for your so recreate the look. So I'm going to make two so recreate the looks. I have until July 30th. It's all good. All right. So you've seen the pattern or you've seen the dress. Now here are two of the fabrics. I'm so excited. All right. So I think I'm going to do this one on the top. How fun is that? This is another one of those Spoonflower cotton lawns. And I just, the colors are so beautiful. And then I got this, I actually bought this pink eyelet for a different project. I got four yards. So I'm kind of hoping I can still make the other project um, because this is just gonna be the middle tier for this dress. How cute is that gonna look together? And then I bought some um, turquoise gingham. 
and that'll be my bottom tier. Ah, I feel like every dress I make is my new favorite. Um, so I can't wait for that fabric to come in and I'm super excited about making that. So as soon as that fabric comes in, this is getting done. Um, so, uh, anyway, the, the eyelet fabric is from a company I had just founded. I hadn't heard of it before. Fashionfabricsclub.com. I'll have a link to everything below. Um, and then the only other thing that I have planned to make is, um, I am going, I've already signed up to do two more tests for Victoria. I didn't tell you anything about this. Um, so the coveralls are from a company, a pattern company called Urbaccia, Urbaccia Studio. She actually gave us a pronunciation guide <laughs> in the, uh, in the instructions of the pattern. Um, Urbaccia Studio. And the pattern name is called Chikoria, Chikoria Coveralls. Um, and uh, I enjoyed the experience. So, um, I, I like I said, I'll do another video about this, but I enjoyed the experience enough that she actually sent out um, a pattern, a test or tester call for two more patterns. And I signed up for both of them and they're due by July 26th. They are much less involved than this one. And I don't think that they'll take me very long. One of them's super quick. Um, and the other one, I don't think it will take me too long, obviously depending on the instructions. Um, but I only had a couple of problems with her instructions um, for the coveralls and she was super quick to reply and straighten it out for me. So the experience was pretty, was pretty good. Um, so yeah, so on my, what's next is my second, so recreate the look and then my two pattern tests for Arbacha Studios. Um, all right, I have an idea for a short series of videos and I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in them or not. So I'd love your feedback on this. Um, I don't have a massive pattern stash. It's a little bit over a hundred patterns. Would you guys be interested in seeing a series of videos? Cause I, I obviously wouldn't do it all in one, but um, doing just, you know, me sharing my pattern stash probably by category. So like shirts in one video, dresses in another. Um, I might group a couple together cause I don't have many pants um, and accessories. Maybe it would just be three videos now that I think about it. Uh, shirts would be one, dresses would be one, and then everything else would be one. I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? Um, if you're not interested, then I, you know, I won't do it, but um, I was thinking that that could be fun and then I might even have some fabric pairings with a, a few of them. Um, and that's about it for sewing. So for life, I'm on vacation. Uh, so I have this next week off and um, my sister is coming to visit me with my nephew and I'm so excited. I haven't seen her for fun for quite some time. Um, the last time I saw her was in October um, when my dad was ill and passing away. And then um, before that, um, the last couple of times that I saw her before that were dealing with stuff with my dad. Um, so we we weren't really like you know, throwing down and having fun. So I'm really excited for her to come and visit. I haven't, you know, I, I, I haven't lived near her in like well over 20 years, probably close to 25 years, but, um, and we don't talk every day on the phone, but we're only three years apart. People used to think we were twins when we were younger. Um, and I just, I miss her all the time. Like, uh, I miss all my family, but my sister and I have a, um, you know, a sister connection. So I'm super excited for her to come and she's coming on Sunday, which is my birthday. So it's the best birthday gift I could get. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be, I keep telling my husband double nickels. I'm going to be double nickels. I'm going to be 55 on Sunday. It doesn't feel real. Like I, I remember when I was younger and I thought 55 was old and now I don't. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for me today. Um, I would love it if you would join in the comment section below. Uh, give me your thoughts on anything that I've made, that I showed. Um, give me your thoughts on my ideas for the pattern stash videos. Um, 
Are you participating in any challenges? If so, I'd love to hear about it. And that's all I got. So if, um, if you, if you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you'd consider. And if you are already subscribe, subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.